I'm Addie Robertson with The Verge, and I'm here at E3 to check out a new demo for Project Morpheus, Sony's virtual reality headset. The demo is called Street Luge, and it is exactly what it sounds like. You lay down on a beanbag chair, put on Morpheus, and your body is on a board rolling down hills and dodging cars. It's a fantastic idea and a great example of what you can do with only Project Morpheus' head tracking technology, because your body really doesn't move. All you're doing is nudging yourself left and right, although you'll probably look a little ridiculous jerking your head around. You really feel the sense of vertigo and of trying to avoid things, and it's hands down the best thing I've seen from Morpheus, although that's not necessarily saying much, because so far we've seen a couple of things that have mostly been tech demos. Project Morpheus has really only been around for a few months after being announced at GDC, and the hardware hasn't much changed. What they're trying to do is figure out things to do with it. They're also showing off some of the old demos, which use move controllers or just let you look around. But none of those have really managed to feel as seamless as the Street Luge. Sony's not the only one here at E3 trying to figure out what to do with virtual reality. Oculus is actually showing off some new games too, and the overall feel is that if last year was about trying to understand what the technology of VR looks like, this year is trying to understand how you can use that to make games people want to play. Sony hasn't given us any more information about when we might see real news from Project Morpheus, but we're going to be watching it and the Oculus Rift very closely over the next year.